Imagine an island so dangerous that Brazil's government has forbidden any visitors. Welcome to Snake Island. Tucked off the coast of Brazil in the Atlantic Ocean, lies Ilha da Queimada Grande, better known as Snake Island. It's a place so lethal that it's off-limits to the general public. A solitary lighthouse, now automated and devoid of human life, stands as a stark reminder of the island's eerie past. This small parcel of land spans roughly 110 acres, yet it's home to an estimated 4,000 golden lancehead vipers, one of the most venomous snakes on our planet. That's about one snake every six square yards. A single bite from this lethal creature can melt human flesh, and there's no anti-venom. The golden lancehead viper is unique to Snake Island, in fact, you won't find it anywhere else in the world. This isolation has allowed these snakes to evolve separately from their mainland counterparts, becoming a distinct species that's especially adept at hunting and surviving in this environment. The island was once connected to the mainland, but rising sea levels cut it off about 11,000 years ago. The snakes that were trapped on the island had to adapt to a new way of life, evolving over time into the deadly creatures we know today. Apart from the snakes, the island is also home to a variety of other wildlife including spiders, birds and lizards. But don't let the presence of these creatures fool you. This isn't a place for a leisurely nature walk. The high concentration of venomous snakes makes it one of the most dangerous places on Earth. It's no wonder that the Brazilian government has put a ban on visitors. Only a select few researchers and the Brazilian Navy are allowed to step foot on this deadly island, and even they need to take extreme precautions. With these alarming facts you may wonder, how does one survive on Snake Island? Let's dive into some survival tips. Survival tip number 3, sail carefully. The journey to the island itself is treacherous. Venturing to Snake Island is no small feat. The waters surrounding this notorious landmass are as treacherous as the island itself. Picture this, rocky outcrops lurking beneath the water surface. Sudden squalls that can whip up the sea into a frothy, dangerous frenzy, and unpredictable currents that can pull even the most seasoned sailor off course. Navigating these waters requires more than just a sturdy ship and a compass. It demands expert sailing skills and an intimate knowledge of the local sea conditions. So, if you're planning on making this journey, make sure that you, or someone in your team, has these skills in abundance. Remember, the ocean is a fickle friend. One minute, it's all calm and serene, the next, it's a raging beast that can easily capsize a small boat. And let me tell you, being stranded in the open sea, with Snake Island as your only landfall, is not a situation you want to find yourself in. So how do you navigate these perilous waters? Well, the first rule of thumb is to always keep a close eye on the weather. A sudden change in conditions can quickly turn your dream adventure into a nightmare. Secondly, always respect the sea. Understand its moods, its rhythms, and its power. Don't push your luck. If conditions seem dicey, wait it out. There's no prize for getting to the island first, but there's a big one for getting there safely. And finally, never underestimate the value of local knowledge. If you can, hire a local guide who knows these waters like the back of their hand. They'll know where the hidden rocks are, where the currents are strongest and when it's safe to make the crossing. So before you even set foot on the island you need to conquer the sea. But what happens when you land on the island? Just remember, the adventure is only just beginning. Before we continue with our countdown let's discuss some additional survival tips that could come in handy on Snake Island. As you venture into the dense, snake-infested terrain of Snake Island, it's not just the slithering reptiles you need to watch out for. Other inhabitants like cockroaches could also pose a significant challenge. Cockroaches are not just creepy crawlers, they are carriers of various diseases and can contaminate food and water sources. So, how do you deal with them? The tried and true method is to keep your campsite clean. Dispose of food scraps properly, and ensure that your food and water supplies are sealed and stored away from the ground. Now let's talk about something that's crucial but often overlooked. Medical assistance. Snake Island is home to thousands of venomous snakes, and the risk of snake bites is, understandably, high. While we'll delve into dealing with snakes in our next segment, it's important to mention the role of immediate medical attention in the face of a snake bite. It's always wise to bring along a doctor or someone with substantial medical training on such an adventure. They can provide immediate first aid and potentially save a life before reaching a medical facility. Also, ensure you have an ample supply of anti-venom and a well-stocked first aid kit. This should include bandages, antiseptics, painkillers, and other emergency medical supplies. Remember, in a place as remote and dangerous as Snake Island, 
Being prepared can make the difference between life and death. Lastly, maintain constant communication with the outside world. Whether it's a satellite phone or a radio, having a reliable means of communication can be a lifesaver in case of emergencies. Now that we've got those extra tips out of the way, let's move on to survival tip number two. Survival tip number two, deal with the snakes. After all, the island didn't get its name for nothing. Snake Island is notorious for being home to an alarming number of golden lancehead vipers, one of the most venomous snakes in the world. Their venom is so potent, it can melt human flesh, not a creature you want to bump into on a leisurely stroll. Let's start with avoidance. Snakes, like most creatures, prefer not to have a run-in with humans. They're more scared of you than you are of them. Stick to clear, open paths where you can see your surroundings. Avoid tall grass, piles of leaves and rocky areas where snakes might be hiding. And always, always watch where you're stepping. Now let's say you do encounter a snake. Don't panic. Remember it's more scared of you than you are of it. Stay still and let the snake move away on its own. If it doesn't move, slowly back away. Whatever you do, don't try to pick it up or kill it. That's when most snake bites occur. But what if you do get bitten? First, don't try to suck out the venom or cut the wound. These methods can cause more harm than good. Instead, keep the bitten area below heart level to slow the spread of venom. Remove any jewelry or tight clothing before swelling starts. And get medical help immediately. How to identify the golden lancehead viper? It's a medium-sized snake with a distinct golden hue. Its head is shaped like a lance, hence the name. But remember, it's best to keep your distance from all snakes, not just the venomous ones. Navigating the island while avoiding these deadly creatures is a challenge. But there's one more thing you need to be prepared for. And finally, survival tip number one, deal with the pirates. Yes, you heard that right, pirates. They're not just historical figures or characters in a Hollywood blockbuster. On Snake Island, they are as real as the venomous snakes that slither beneath your feet. Now these aren't your typical swashbuckling pirates. They're modern-day plunderers drawn to this island by the allure of the Golden Lancehead Viper's venom. This venom is highly sought after on the black market for its potential medical use, making it more valuable than gold. However, keep in mind these pirates are not here for a holiday. They are dangerous, unpredictable, and have no regard for the law. But fear not, there are ways to handle these unexpected human threats. Firstly, avoid confrontation. Pirates, like the island's snakes, are best left undisturbed. If you do cross paths, remain calm, show no fear, and never engage in conflict unless absolutely necessary. Remember you're in their territory and they're likely more afraid of you than you are of them. Secondly, stay alert and aware of your surroundings. Pirates often use small boats for transportation, making the coastline a high-risk area. Keep your distance and always have an escape route planned. Lastly, communication is key. If you spot pirates, immediately alert the local authorities. They have the resources and expertise to handle these situations. Your safety should always be your top priority. Surviving on Snake Island is not for the faint of heart. It's a land where danger lurks around every corner, and the unexpected becomes the norm. But with these tips in your survival toolkit you'll stand a better chance. Remember it's a dangerous world out there. Always be prepared.